five-year-old Timmy vanishes. He's last seen at his mother's side at a carnival. That's the story Michelle Ledzinski tells in 1991. Now, 25 years later, Mom Michelle is on trial for Timmy's murder. The evidence will show that it was his mother, the very person who brought him into this world, took him out. The cold case got hot last year when Michelle's niece, Timmy's babysitter, said she recognized a blue blanket found near the boy's body 11 months later. She told police she used that blanket when she snuggled up with him. You're going to hear from Jennifer Blair that she recognized this blanket supposedly 20 years later. Michelle's lawyers say the niece can't be trusted. They claim she abused drugs and that the two women had clashed. Prosecutors say Michelle's words, behavior, and the new evidence all prove she killed her son. Do you want to put uh, bamboo shoots down this woman's uh, fingernails as well? <laughs> or what, what is the, what is the I, conscience I, of guilt that, you're, that you were concerned about? Well, I mean, there's, you just put the whole thing together. I mean, let's go back to telling the authorities four different stories. Duh, that's one. And then when the female investigator from the district attorney's office sat down with her because the investigators from the police division thought that maybe woman to woman might get more out of them, she was even more hostile. She answered with one word answers and at one point crossed her arms and smirked at the DA investigator and she said why are, are you smirking and she goes I'm just tired of you asking me questions about things I didn't do now get the you know what out of here and then she stood up and ran out of the house now okay I know whoever out there is the defense attorney is saying that's not enough but I don't know you put it all together and there is a strong love, love to use this term consciousness of guilt and here, you're, as you're far deep, as my, I'm concerned these yeah. are moms who have violated their fundamental sacred responsibility as a parent one way or another, right? Is that what has you so upset? Yeah, I mean, I think what has me upset is that they're just manip manipulative enough to somehow evade prosecution. Pat's responding to her manipulations and then how she then violates her responsibility as a mom and is able to get away with it. I, as a male, am responding to the degree of deceptive, cold-hearted manipulation. It's, it's so profound in both these cases for me that it, it just... It just it scares me. It's actually frightening to see somebody that cold and that manipulative. But that still doesn't spell out conviction, murder in this situation. All you have is a blanket. And like Troy said, you may have all sorts of DNA, but this was a blanket that this kid used, right? Yeah. And, and so my, I have the same question this, that Pat does. How do you put it together? And why now? Yeah. yeah. And Spirit, you get what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, Spirit, you, you get know, me, right? It's the, it's the lack of emotion as a mother. The lack of, the lack of maternal wait, instinct. I'm going to put a stronger word. These both seem like not human. The lack exactly. of humanity here is so chilling. Even chilling. if you did give your child away, the loss of having to make that sacrifice yes. so they could have a better life. That's the right. lack of emotion says right. there is something amiss here. Or, or, or yeah, amiss. Now, I'm not to, to channel Troy for a second. Maybe didn't murder, but behaved in ways that really not okay for There is dirt in this buttermilk, Dr. Maybe this Drew. is a mom whose child was kidnapped at a carnival. Are we thinking about maybe her story is truthful? Then why and isn't she hysterical? There are no, four but see, stories. that's not a crime, though. Four stories. Pat, there are four different stories. Spirit, Spirit, tell, give us two of them. Go ahead. Okay, one of them was, it was, I, I, now let me just make sure I get this right. One of them was uh, that, she, that I, I think she said an exotic dancer strolled by that she recognized <laughs> and the exotic dancer was going to watch. And then the exotic dancer and a guy uh, it's took the, the baby. Troy Those are two for you. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. It's really, again, it's the cunning, the lack of, of any sort of uh, 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 respect for other people or the truth. To but me, Dr. Just, Drew, you and Spirit are describing something that is not a crime. I get it. Now, I know I get now, it. You guys got to make it a crime. I understand. But now, we're what makes it you, a crime what? Is, is all of that in addition to everything I, else. I get it. We're, we're telling, telling you, Houston, there's a problem. Right. Look further.